everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today is our weekly plan with me video. So today we're gonna grab our planners. So go grab your planners, go grab your journals or your Bible journaling supplies, and let's go ahead and have some fun planning for this week, May 10th through the 16th. So last week we did some really pretty floral designs. You can find all my planner videos on my channel under my Happy Planner playlist because I do use the Happy Planner. I absolutely love it. I don't think I'm going back to any other planner because I've tried a few, not that many, but I absolutely love the Happy Planner. It's just so personalized. You can decorate it the way you want it and mix and match all your planners. It's just awesome. So if you're new to the Happy Planner, this is the Faith Edition. This is the cover that I have. It says, Have Fun in Your Faith. They do come out with two or three editions that are different usually, but um, I usually get the first one that comes out during the year because I start right on January 1st. So let's go ahead and get started. These pages I absolutely love. They do come out. Don't worry. I'm not ripping out my pages in my planner, but they come out. That way it's easy to decorate and easy to put back in and add pages or take out pages you don't need or want. So that's what makes it so much fun and easy to decorate. Okay, so today we're going to be using two sticker books. We're going to be using the Happy Planner Washi Tape sticker book. I think this is the girly one, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But this is the girly sticker book. And I will link down everything that I use down below as usual, everything that I have. I usually try to find links for you guys. That way it'll be a lot quicker and a lot easier for you guys to find everything if you see something that you like. And then the last sticker book, I'm excited. We are going to be using the Disney Princess Happy Planner book again. So excited. I love this book. I used it last month. I think it was last month. I think so. But we did Princess Tiana, so go ahead and check that out on my channel if you want to. And this week we're going to be using a different princess. We're going to be doing Rapunzel this week, I think. Doing a different scheme, or scheme, theme. Because <laughs> um, I thought the purple and pink would be really pretty for spring and just be happy and pretty. So let's go ahead and get started. So... I saw this one right away, this purple washi tape with the rose gold. It's going to be perfect for matching Rapunzel. Absolutely perfect. So in this Faith Planner journal, I use it for my daily Bible reading. I do get behind sometimes, um, not in reading. I'm actually way ahead in reading. Um, but I do get behind in writing sometimes, so I have to go back and read right in here but I usually put daily thank yous at the top and then I put like way at the top I'll put the chapters in the Bible that I'm reading that day and then down here I will put down um, prayers or my favorite verses of the day. All right so let's go ahead and find that other purple washi tape that matches. So pretty. I was wondering when I was going to use this purple washi tape. It's so pretty. Got some pretty rose gold tones. I love rose gold. If you don't know me yet, rose gold is my favorite foil color. Out of all the foil colors they have, rose gold is my absolute favorite. All right, and let's go ahead and use the other purple. This is actually a plain purple washi with a scalloped edge, and I thought this would just be really pretty accent. Whoops. Huh. <laughs> okay, so it's half and half. It's actually half blank and half the shell border. That's actually kind of funny because I don't remember there being like a white border to this. Hmm. <laughs> I don't I don't know if there's supposed to be because I I've had some in the past that haven't had that border. It was just a scalloped edge. So now I'm kind of wondering. I mean I'm okay with it. It won't show up once you put it down. <laughs> That's kind of funny though. Alright, so let's go find that other purple Let's see if the other purple does it. No, this one's just a scallop. How weird is that? That's so funny. Oh, they had blank purple flowers, but that's okay. We can save those for another time when we use Rapunzel again later on. Maybe next year. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put this, because this one is just the scallop. It didn't have a clear edge. That's kind of funny. There we go. I think I got some dirt underneath this. The washi tape is really nice where you can take it off and fix it if you have to. No, I think that's staying. It's okay. It's not going to bother me. <laughs> Piece of dirt underneath there. It won't bother me. Okay. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else in here that I want to use. This is so pretty. Yeah, I think we'll save the rest. I might might use the scallops later on. Ooh, I just found something that I like. Oh yes, this big giant purple box. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I didn't even see that when I was looking through this earlier. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, let's see, let's put it on this side. I always put the bigger stickers on the right because it's a lot more room on this side. Oh yeah. I like how you can easily move move it around and fix where you want to place it. So, and then you just lay it down. So that's pretty. I like that a lot. All right, so we're gonna do some layering with that sticker in a little bit. Let's see if there's anything else in here that we want to use. Cute, cute, cute. Ooh, there's a heart washi tape that matches that. That's really cute. Let's go ahead and use that washi tape heart sticker. Let me see if I can move, zoom in for you guys a little bit. There, that's better. All right, <laughs> this is cute, it says high five. High five. All right, this is cute too. I think we're all done with this one. I'm glad I kept flipping though, because we wouldn't have found that cute box sticker. All right, so let's go ahead and go in. Oh, totally forgot. We will be using my American Craft Faith sticker book. I don't know why I forgot this. I use it every week, but we will be using that as well after we're done with our Disney Princess one. Okay, so we've got cute boxes, cute stickers. Oops, those are the Tiana ones. All right, so I like this one. Let's see, we've got one that says, Have a Brave Heart, Follow Your Heart. I like the Have a Brave Heart one. Because God gives us a brave heart. When we trust in him, he helps us through everything. So I like that one. We'll use this one. Cute. And we've got to put at least maybe one more box sticker. Um, let's see. We can use one of the bigger ones. That one says daily to today's to-dos. That really doesn't go with Bible study. The Be True to You one's kind of cute. I like that one. Or Create Your Own Adventure. Um, hmm. I think I'll just use this one, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I can't decide. I hate not deciding. There's just too many cute ones. Maybe I'll use this one. Because I kind of want to go with an all-purple scheme. Theme. <laughs> My brain's not working. Theme, not scheme. We can go ahead and layer this up top here. Really, really cute. Cute, okay. So then, let's see. I did see that I wanted to use those clear ones. I think these are really pretty. I'm wondering if we should use the gold foil ones. No, nope, because we have rose gold. I remember that. Thanks, God, for reminding me about that. Um, hmm. Should we use this big one? I think, I think it'll be fit enough. Let's see. Okay. Let's go ahead and use this big one. I like this one. Although I like the one with her holding the paintbrushes, too. But I like this one because we're going to take that box we put earlier and we're going to layer her. I kind of want her hair like over layering, like a little off the side. Just a little. So we can see the pattern behind her. Look how cute that is. And you have to remember though, when you're layering stickers, especially clear ones, 
you will get like the undertone of like the purple in the background, but not a lot. It's still, you can still tell it's Rapunzel and it looks really pretty and matches the background. Look how cute that is. Okay, let's see. We might actually have to go into another um, sticker book really quick because that's not really a whole lot of stickers and we kind of want a little bit more. So, and there's not really a whole lot of stickers in here. We only have like a few pages. Let's see if we can use any of these. Kindness is magic. Let's use that one. We'll put this one up here. Ah, I didn't want to lay it down right away. <laughs> I love these stickers. Like Michael's ones are a little bit harder to get off. You really have to make sure you place them right because they won't come off. But Happy Planner ones, you can you can e you can quite easily move them to different spots if you make a mistake or anything. Okay, let me go see if I can find some flowers or something that would go with this layout really quick. I'll be back. Okay, so I found some really pretty like purpley pink flowers that we can go ahead and use. This one's from the Recollection Floral Sticker Book. And I just think these are really pretty. And I have this sticker book handy. <laughs> these are, again, clear stickers on this page at least. So we can go ahead and like layer if we want to, or just place them in and around. Beautiful Rapunzel. Rapunzel's not my absolute favorite princess, but we do have a lot in common. <laughs> we love adventures, we love traveling, and we love to do arts and crafts. So I think we would definitely get along quite well. I think just the touch of flowers, I think that's a good idea. That way it just kind of brings the whole page together and we can add some funness to the page besides Rapunzel. So some pretty flowers. They're not the same flowers as are in the movie, but that's okay. They don't have to be. They can do be whatever flowers you want. Maybe I'll put one, let's see, maybe up here. Yeah, I'll put one up here. There, perfect. I like that. We just needed a little, a little extra fun to the page. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in our Faith sticker book and see what we like in here. See if there's anything purple. <laughs> this one's cute. It's like a dark bluish purple, but it says redeemed. I like that. Let's use that sticker. And we'll put this, let's see. Maybe we'll layer it over the washi tape. I like that. Redeemed. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, let's see what else we can get here. Anything purpley? There's a few pink ones, but I really kind of like just having purple. Joyful Spirit is really pretty. I like that Joyful Spirit. Let's see. That one's like a really dark purple. <laughs> I think we are almost done decorating. Ooh, I like this one. This one's got purple and it's one of my absolute favorite verses ever. It says, perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created. And it's Esther 414. And it's one of my absolute favorite verses because God just reminds me that, that he has a plan for me and he, we were created for a purpose, so I think I'll put it down here. I think that's perfect for this page. And it matches. <laughs> I like matching. Let's use the power of prayer sticker too, since it kind of matches. And let's see, where do I want to put it? Maybe on this side. There. It's cute. All right, let's see if there's anything else. I think we're almost done, guys. This turned out to be a really fun, cute page. Let's just make sure that we don't want to use anything else in here. Ooh, that's cute. 
It says love is patient and it's in purple. Perfect. Love is patient. I like that. Alrighty. I like having the purple. I think the purple is really pretty. Ooh, here's one. It says you are loved. If I can get it to come off. There we go. That one is going to be perfect. It says you are loved. I really like that. Should we layer it or just have it on its own? I think we'll have it on its own. Maybe we'll stick it out a little bit. Or is that going to be like too much? Maybe we'll put it over here. There we go. Cute. I like it over there. All right. Didn't realize that there was that much purple in here, actually. Okay. Now I can say we're almost done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I think it turned out really cute. We've got our nice, oops, sorry guys for the camera shaking. So this is this week for May 10th through the 16th. I hope you all have a wonderful blessed day, a blessed Sunday, and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Um, please don't forget to subscribe down below and click the like button, and I will see you all in the next video.